It's a matter of concern. Ting called this meeting to understand the situation. Last night, the assembly line produced 100 parts, but only 90 reached the warehouse. 10 parts were missing. The store in chart said, we received parts with serial number 1 to 100, but on actual count, there were only 90 parts. Tim said, that means a batch of 10 parts is missing. The store in charge said, it was not a batch, sir. We observed that roughly one part is missing after every 10 parts. The quality in charge said, I think it's an insider's job. It was planned like this so that no one will notice. Are you suggesting theft? Tim asked. What else could this be? I have searched the entire plant, including the rejection area, but I could not find the parts, replied the quality manager. And then the supervisor said, Sir, I never liked this new security guy. I think he is involved. Or else how can the parts go outside the factory? We should call the police. Everybody is convinced, but Tim decided to go to the actual place to see the actual part and to understand the actual situation. Tim went to the shop floor where the supervisor explained, Sir, this is the final station where we dispatch the parts to the warehouse. Tim asked, what is the process here? The supervisor said, the operator inspects the part and puts a serial number on the OK part. Hmm, he's not changing the serial number on the stamp, Tim asked. It's automatic, sir. Every time he puts a stamp, the number increases by one. It was my suggestion, the supervisor said very proudly. Suddenly, Tim noticed the operator put his hand under the table and then back. Did you see that? Tim said. Can you confirm what's under the table? The supervisor asked the operator and he replied, Sir, there is an ink pad. Supervisor asked, why are you using an ink pad? This stamp is self-inking. The operator said, last night the ink was finished and they did not have the refills in the stores. So I had to use this ink pad. Tim asked, how often do you apply ink with this ink pad? And the operator replied, after every 10 parts. Now Tim understood. Actually, the parts were not missing. When the operator presses the auto stamp on the ink pad, it gets increased by one and the continuity of the part serial number gets interrupted. And everybody assumed the parts were missing. Back in the meeting room, Tim explained to all, assumptions can lead us to completely different directions. We must go to the real place, see the actual parts, and understand the actual situation. This is the principle of 3G.